peace be to you. We reflect today teachings of Jesus on marriage and celibacy, the two great sacraments of the church, the sacrament of marriage and sacrament of holy order. With regard to the marriage, Jesus was very clear from the time of the institution by the will of God there was no divorce. It was the union between couples, a union, a human institution created by God for human generation. So it is by the will of God. So in the creation, in the beginning, there was no divorce. So in the will of God, there is no separation, there is no divorce. And St. Matthew turns the private teachings to the public one. He inserts an acceptive class. Jesus says, except for. So, according to the mind of Jesus, Jesus stresses there is no divorce according to the will of God. But the acceptive clause is inserted except for unchastity. So, except for this, there is no divorce in the marriage. And then comes about the virtue of celibacy, a center point of the holy order. The virtue of celibacy is devoting oneself completely for the demands of the kingdom of God, freely devoting oneself for the demands of the kingdom of God. It is refraining from the marriage for the kingdom. So there is a three list of eunuchs one born of malformed, second one castrated by cruelty of human being to be gods of harem and courteous. The third one is the people who dedicate themselves to the urgent demands of the kingdom of God. So it is the grace of God, it is purely the grace of God, it is purely the plan of God, by the grace of God one decides to refrain himself from marriage to dedicate, devote oneself completely for the urgent demands of the kingdom of God. So this is the celibacy. This is by which the holy order functions. So it is purely gift of God. Without God's gift, one cannot live as a celibate. So it is a gift of God 
God gives gift. So let us thank the Lord for these two great sacraments. Through the marriage, we have occasions. Through the holy orders, we have again children by through the baptism. So both marriage and holy orders beget children for God. Let us respect these two sacraments and abide by the will of God. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for calling us to be the celibate religious, to dedicate completely to the demands of the kingdom of God. Allow us to live fully, Lord. Allow us to dedicate fully to the demands of the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord, for this gift of holy hearts, gift of marriage, through which we may glorify you, Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.